Welcome to Bakerland, the podcast where imagination meets reality. Delve into fascinating topics and the world's most intriguing conspiracies with us. It's a journey through the known and the unknown. Strap in. It's going to be an extraordinary ride. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Cannonball! Bakerland, where your two favorite fuck-ups, me Megan the Mighty Baker and my sexy sidekick Rocky, Talk about everything and nothing all at once. <laughs> all righty then. Yeah, that works for an intro. Sure. We'll have to uh, say that's an explicit uh, intro, but it works for me. Haha. <laughs> nothing wrong with being explicit, babe. It's what keeps things interesting, right? Oh, exactly. Yeah, so what's our topic for today? I believe we were going to talk about the Mandela effect. Is that right? Seriously? Okay, fine. But I'm still going to wear my Foo Fighters t-shirt just to annoy you. Whatever, dude. You know, as long as you don't wear me, mind me wearing my Blue October shirt, so... Ooh, now you're talking. I love that band, too. And you look hot in that shirt. Oh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't wear it, then. Why not? All right, I'll wear it. Okay. It's here. It's on. It's their 2020 tour that never actually took place. <laughs> That's because you wished them away with your terrible singing. Oh, you're one to talk. No, the COVID thing, the whole, their whole uh, season was canceled, the touring. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. It sucked. Anyway, I'm ready to start recording whenever you are, babe. Yes, dear, I'm ready. Let's do it. We did the intro already, right? Yep, we sure did. So let's jump right into it. The Mandela Effect. You know, I always thought Nelson Mandela died in prison. Yes, a lot of people thought that he died in prison back in the 80s because his wife gave a speech and people thought were led to believe that, oh, he must have died because his wife's up there giving a speech, but... No, she was just up there campaigning for him to get out. Crazy how our brains can play tricks on us like that, huh? Oh, it definitely is. Yeah, that was where the original thing for Mandela Effect came came to be. And there was another famous uh, Mandela Effect of a movie in, uh, I believe it was the late 90s. Oh, you mean like the Berenstain Bears thing? No, it's not. It's not the Berenstain Bears. This is. Uh, this was the movie where everybody thought that Sinbad played a genie in the in a 1990s film. Wait, what? Sinbad, the comedian? I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people thought back in the 90s that oh yeah, Sinbad was in that movie. He he played a genie, but it was actually Shaquille O'Neal that played it. Oh my God, are you serious? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, he was, and I I believed it was Sinbad too. I don't know why, but it wasn't him. That is wild. So basically the Mandela effect is just a collective false memory? Yes. Yeah, it has to be fairly, you know, it has to be fairly large too, because I mean, thousands, if not millions of people believed it. Damn, I feel like I need to fact check all my childhood memories now. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way. I know there's a lot more than that, though. What are some other examples of the Mandela effect that you know of? I know you mentioned the Berenstein Bears or Berenstein Bears. 
Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. People either remember it as Berenstain or Berenstain. I guess it's officially Berenstain, but a lot of us remember it differently. Yeah, I don't really remember it at all because I think that was my... I think I was already an adult when that the whole thing had taken place. Well, that's why I'm here to educate you, Rocky. There's also the one about Jif peanut butter. Some people swear it used to be Jiffy. Yes, that was a that's a good one too because I remember when I was a kid growing up, I thought it was it was Jiffy, but I got it confused with the the old other peanut butter, Skippy. So I just put a a Y on the end of it. Same here. I thought it was Jiffy forever until someone corrected me. Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah, a lot of people got that mixed up. All right, fine. What else you got for me? Well, I don't have my notes in front of me right, right now because my, my laptop's not working. I was hoping you could indulge me. Oh, come on, Rocky. Don't leave me hanging. You're the one who wanted to redo this episode. Ah, oh, boy. All right. I, I'm i trying to remember some more. Okay, I got one. How about Curious George having a tail? Yes, that was a good one, too. Yeah, Curious George. It used to be the old, well, it was a book, and then it was a, a series on TV, I know, with the man with the yellow hat. Right, but he never had a tail, right? Not that I know of. No, I don't remember him ever having a tail. Do you? Nope, never. But apparently a bunch of people do. So that's another good Mandela effect one then. I wonder if people could, uh, maybe people could write to us and say, say some other ones they remember. That would be awesome. Yeah, let's ask our listeners to share their own Mandela Effect stories. Yes, if you have a Mandela Effect story, like you remember something and then read about it later that it never actually happened, uh, email us, bakerlandpodcast at gmail.com. That's right. We'd love to hear from you guys. Absolutely. So what's another, what's another Mandela Effect? Hmm. How about the Monopoly Man not having a monocle? Yes, that's, that's a good one, too, because I remember thinking the Monopoly man, you know, he has a monocle, he's rich, he's got that big big top hat, and he's got a, he had a name, too. Yeah, Rich Uncle Pennybags. Rich Uncle Pennybags, that's right. Yeah, I got it confused with the, the Planter's Peanut guy that had a monocle, I believe. Mr. Peanut. Yes, Mr. Peanut had a monocle, right. Yep, he sure did. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good one too. I like that one. Sure, let me think. What about the line from Star Wars? Luke, I am your father. Yes, yes, that's a good one too. Yeah. It's actually yeah, Darth Vader, everybody remembers him saying, Luke, I am your father. But he actually said, he actually said something different. He says, I'm Luke, I'm not your, what, what was his line, the exact line? No, I am your father. Yes, he never said Luke, he just says, no, I am your father. Right, right, thank you. You're welcome. Your memory isn't as bad as you think. I don't know about that. It's not good. But, uh, yeah, that was an excellent one. I, I remember him saying, Luke, I am your father. And a lot of people said that after they saw the movie. Me too. I thought it was iconic. Oh, yeah, I saw the movie. Man, I was just a little kid. I was like... What, nine or ten years old, I think, when that when the movies came out? Wow, that's young.
I didn't see it until I was 18. Oh yeah, you watched the, you had to watch it on uh, VHS probably. Yeah, we didn't have streaming back then, buddy. Oh, I know. That was a while ago. I, I know. I didn't have... I had three stations growing up. The three three major networks, CBS, NBC, and ABC. You're making me feel ancient, Rocky. <laughs> well, you're not as old as me. You're still young, so... I'm not that much younger, smartass. <laughs> You're, uh, what, 14 years younger than me, so. Hey, every year counts. That's right. You're much better educated, too. That's true. Oh, you didn't have to agree so quickly with that one. Wow. Holy shit. Just kidding. You're not that bad. All right, thank you. What's another? Uh, let's do, do let's do two more Mandela effects, and then we'll we'll call it a day here. Okay. How about the Fruit Loops mascot, Toucan Sam? Did he always have a cereal bowl on his head? I don't remember that at all. He had a cereal bowl on his head. Yeah, a lot of people do, but actually, it's just a hat with fruit in it. I don't remember him having a hat at all. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It's one of those things where once you realize it, you're like, how did I ever think that? Oh, yes. That's a that's a pretty good example. So he had a he had a hat with fruit on it on his head. And for some reason, I don't remember a hat at all. And other people remember thinking it was a cereal bowl. Exactly. It's crazy how our brains work. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. That's for sure. Okay, last one. How about the number of stripes on the American flag? The stripes... Man, I should know this one. I know there's 50 stars. The stripes, there's yeah. 13? Some people remember it having 50 stars and 50 stripes, but it's always been 13 stripes for the original colonies. Yes, that's right. The, the red and white stripes are for the original colonies. Yep, so many people get it wrong, though. Oh, that would be a good, that would be a good test for a citizenship question, probably. Maybe we should include that in our next trivia episode. Oh yeah, we should. Yeah, we should have it. We don't. We haven't had one yet. We definitely need a, a trivia episode. For sure. Anyway, that's all I've got. Are you ready to wrap it up? Yeah, definitely. Let's wrap it up. I'll let you do the outro thing, and I'll give people the email address again. All right. Thanks for listening to another episode of Bakerland. Remember to send in your Mandela Effect stories to bakerlandpodcast@gmail.com. We'll catch you guys next week. Thank you, everyone. I'm Mark Rockwell, and that's Megan Baker, and we'll see you here next week. Bye-bye. Well, that's going to do it for all of us here at Channel 4 News. You stay classy, San Diego. I'm Ron Burgundy? Damn it! Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? For the last time, anything you put on that prompter, Burgundy will read. <laughs>